My name is Miguel from AvoidErrors.net. In this tutorial, I'm going to be showing you guys how to set up Exchange Online for business or personal use. The main reason I migrated is because I can effectively sync my calendar, emails, and contacts with all my devices globally. Exchange Online offers many other features. You can read more by clicking on the link in the description box below. This service is not free. $4 a month is extremely cheap for what they offer. Go ahead and buy now and sign in to Office 365. If you don't have an account, you can create one. Notice that your new user ID will end on and on Microsoft.com, but we can change that later throughout the admin panel. Also, write down your password. Now, you'll go throughout the process of purchasing the Exchange Online plan. Once your order is completed, continue and head over to the admin panel. Now click on setup on the left and start under quick start. If you don't have a domain email, for example, your name at your company name.com, you can continue on using the on Microsoft.com. If you do have a domain, then use your own domain and click next. Now to fully move our email to Office 365 or Exchange Online, we need to complete all five steps. All five need to be properly checked. So let's start with the first. Let's confirm ownership of our domain. Follow the example here. In my case is avoid errors.es. Next. It automatically detected that my hosting company is GoDaddy where I'm hosting my domain my website. Now if I confirm ownership it will automatically configure the DNS but that defeats the purpose of the video. So let's follow the manual steps. You will be provided with a step by step instructions on how to go about to manually modify the DNS record depending on which hosting company you are using. Just click on the drop down, select your hosting company and it will provide you with the instructions. For those of you using GoDaddy you can just follow my instructions to confirm ownership of your domain. Now scroll down to step 3 and here copy the text value. Do not copy any spaces. Notice that the text name is at and TTL is one hour time to live. Now let's go to our zone file editor in GoDaddy. So go to my account, expand web hosting, this is my domain here, avoid errors ES. Launch. Scroll down a little bit under Tools, select DNS Manager. And under Zone File Editor, search, search for text. Here it is. Do a quick add. And now enter the at symbol text value, paste the text value that we copied earlier. Now by default uh, the TTL is one hour so you can just save zone file. OK. Now this warning is that it takes from one hour to 48 hours to populate but it usually takes effect after two hours, maybe less. So now confirm your changes here. Perfect. Now go back to the admin uh, section and verify now. Perfect. You have confirmed that the domain belongs to you. Click finish and we have completed the first step. Now we have to continue on with all the others. Now add a user. Adding a user is optional you don't need to add a user unless you have multiple users in your company. If not, if you're a single user then skip step 2. Notice that for that user to have all the features that Exchange offers you need to have a license. Now let's continue with step 3 set up purpose and configure DNS. Now the purpose is to use your domain email, your company email with Office 365. 
so check mark exchange online I want to use my domain email address and click on next again my domain is being hosted by GoDaddy if I click on set up records it will automatically modify the DNS record but that defeats the purpose of the video so let's follow the manual steps now we need to add these to our domain DNS record just like we did with a text record previously to confirm ownership. Now I'll locate the MX record under zone file editor. Here it is. Oops. Here it is. Now I'll copy the points to address. Notice that the host name is at priority zero. I'll do a quick add and enter that information here. Paste. The TTL is one hour. Let me go back and confirm. Yep. And save your changes. Now you're always going to get this message that will take 1 to 48 hours to populate. It's usually within one hour or two. It will take effect. Now let's continue on with the uh, C name. Notice that the host name is auto discover. I'll copy the points to address, locate C name, do a quick add, do the same. Here is auto discover. perfect now save again this symbol here is is because I I enter the points to address first but notice everything is good now to the saving process here okay now go back and then copy the text file text value notice that the txt name is at locate that here on the uh, zone file editor Quick add text at symbol and save zone file. And now do the same for the last one, which is a C name again. And host name is MSOID. So I'll copy the points to address, locate the C name, do a quick add. MSOID. Let me confirm. Yep. TTL one hour. Save. OK and OK. Perfect. We're done. You can verify your changes if you want. Then go back to the admin and click on done. Go check. Perfect. Your domain is ready to work with Office 365. You have successfully completed the setup. Click on finish. Now all we need to do is import user data. It's optional. We don't have to do step four. Now, if you want to migrate your emails and contacts, you can go about, you can read more here, but that's not what we're gonna do now. I'll leave this for a different video tutorial. Now go ahead, done. Everything is checked. Now go to Office 365 under admin. We need to modify the user. So expand users, active users. Now, this is the original uh, Microsoft ID created at the beginning, remember? Since we have confirmed our domain, now we can modify the username to use the domain email address or the company email address and save.
once saved it'll tell you that it'll, it might take 24 hours to take effect but like I said it usually takes much less we are done with the uh, exchange online configuration now we need to set up Outlook I'm using Outlook 365 so click on file account settings add and remove accounts under the email tab click on new email account enter your name email address and the password which is the password I asked you to write down at the beginning of the video you will probably be prompted to re-enter the password re-enter and click on OK once done you can do the same with all your devices just enter your name email and password very simple thank you for watching this video my name is Miguel if you have any questions feel free to post them in the comment section below thank you